Hey everybody, Orpheus here. Welcome back to some more Twilight Princess HD. Last time, we did some post-dungeon exploration of uh, Arbiter's Grounds, getting ourselves a couple pieces of heart, and doing a little bit of side plot in order to uh, proceed up the mountain. This time, we'll be wrapping up fishing in general. Now, since Prince Charles was kind enough to give ourselves an upgraded fishing rod, we can go ahead and uh, do this, toss it out into the waters. The reason why we are doing this is because there are some new things that we can do here now. Maybe. So as we're kind of fishing down here, we will be wrapping up everything fishing related. Getting ourselves the remaining fish that we need to catch. Maybe. So yeah, so this is going to be a very patient episode. Me? Patient? What am I talking about? I am a very impatient individual. As I'm waiting for this bloody fish to take the thing. Come on, you can take it. The reason why is because there is actually an exclusive fish be behind here. Well, it's a fish that's very hard to find. The uh, graveyard is actually one of the best spots to find for it. Well, fish for it. Only problem though is that it loves toying with you. Real it in. Bloody green gills. Okay. Anyways, the reason why I'm fishing back here is because there's an exclusive fish back here. Yeah, green gills, you'll come to hate them. Anyways, it's a little bit hard to see. Oh, I think you're one right over here. There's a fish right down there. A uh, hard to find fish, so to speak. Hey there, Green Gill. I see you. Okay, these fish are not wanting to play nice. Like, every time I try casting out, it does not want to go. So I think that is a pike and not what I'm looking for. Just trying to get that sink. Just trying to get that hook. It's like it wants to, but I just can't. And the Bluegill, they just come in and t just... Harass you. Play with your line. Take like three hours to mess around and not do anything. Okay. Alright, since I don't want to play with this, we'll be uh, doing. We'll be saving that fish for last. Because I'm getting tired of all these fish just uh, playing around. I want you to take my line, take it with violence, take it with everything. Alright, now that we have all that done, now we'll be heading back to Castletown and heading down to the south. I'll see you all south of Castletown for a uh, important little grotto that we'll be going into. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just going through town as a shortcut. Don't mind me scaring everybody around. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Does a wolf running through town? Don't mind me. Everybody panic for no good reason. All right then. So first things first, South of Castle Town that I forgot to mention is that now this in now this little uh, gapway between Southern Hyrule Field and. Uh, I guess Central Hyrule Field is now open for us. The shortcut is now finished, so that's basically the conclusion that basically as soon as you leave the map and come back, the uh, thing will be finished, but... Oh well. Oh, there's a Goron. Can talk to you. Do you have anything to say, brother? Now that I've, uh, remembered that you exist. Oh. Hey, look, brother! The way is now clear, just as I promised. I don't know where you're headed, but be careful. Yeah, I know where I'm heading. That's, uh, right up here. Besides, way central up here. The reason why we're coming over... Coming back over this way, besides one of the, uh, Deku Serpents. Is coming up into this little thing up here. Now, Gwaze, do not knock me down. We'll be heading down to this little grotto for our first little, uh... For, for our first major fishing that we'll be doing. Okay. Uh, like, you can just let go. 
Anyways, inside this little grotto, we have ourselves a bunch of things here. Transform back into human. Okay, I'm going to be putting my fishing rod to Y. Well, I guess my fairy. Since we now know where we can replenish fairies, I'm not too concerned about it. And, using this to bomb, bomb all the uh, bees down. And you were supposed... Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry, bees. Anyways, scooping this up, we get ourselves bee larva. Alright, bit rots at your... Alright. Use them when the rods are equipped to replenish quarter hearts per larva. Alright then, so now that we have our things here... Pausing. Go ahead and uh, equip a bug there. And now fishing on into this pool. This is the secret fish cavern. So yeah. So, fish down here, and fish love larva. There we go. Get a dunk. And it should be our second fish, maybe, as long as it's not a green gill, it's probably a green gill. No! It's a Hylian Pike! Gaining popularity recently. Alright then. So that is all very cool indeed. So that is the main fish inside this pool here is the Hylian Pike. One of the harder to find fish, so to speak. Alright then, so that's that one there. Next up. Um... Okay, I know where we'll be going next. That is going to be de I'm going to be up here in Zora's River. We'll be heading up here and getting ourselves our next fish that we need to catch. Well, next several, actually. <clears throat> if you need one good spot to catch every single fish in the game, why not go to the fishing hole? Because that's literally what it's for. Fishing. Alright then, so coming back up here to the fishing hole... Now we can actually do everything here. I wanted to do so my first visit. Problem though, wouldn't let me because as it turns out, in order to actually finish this quest line, you, you have to have obtained the Coral Reef. Anyways, I think it's springtime now, so I don't have to do too many resets. So first things first, a um, whole lot of things down here. Um, I think this will be fine. It's like a fish sees it. I forgot to equip my uh, larva. Alright. Don't care, fish on. And we get ourselves another Hylian Pike. Okay. But yeah, this is probably the best spot to go fishing. Roughly right in here. So... Bait up. Oh, hello there, Hylian Bass. Our fishing enthusiast, one, one of the basics. So that is two out of all the fish that we can get. Next up, we'll be coming up here to this little, little side here. We'll equipping a lure here. Might get some bait. Looks like we got ourselves a uh, big old pike that's interested. So yeah, the reason why we're coming over to this pool, we want to fish here. There we go. Get that slam. And from here, we get ourselves a lovely sinking lure. This prohibited item is forbidden in fishing ponds, but it shines and should be good for fishing. Press A to take it, and you can use it next time you go, go uh, fishing. Alright then. Um, okay. Uh, did I discover a little glitch here? I do not remember the fishing rod being this big. Uh, Link, have you been storing this somewhere you shouldn't have been? Seriously. I do not remember the fishing rod being this big. Um, okay. I'm just rolling around here right now. Yeah, there, duckies. Uh, I have a very big rod right now. I do not remember being this big. 
Yeah, I think it was just a little bit of a graphical issue, or I just realized it now. So anyways, there's one last fish here than fishing the pod that we're trying to catch right now. I don't know if we'll be able to catch it or not. It's kind of unpopular. Another pike. We like pike. We like pike. Okay, so it's back here. Looks like more pike. I know a good spot I can probably find it. Oh, we caught it! Warden Catfish! From Orden Like Link. Press down to check the fish on the, on the collection screen. Alright then, so that is all but for one fish. Okay, correction, two fish. Okay, I don't think it was a graphical glitch. I think it was intentional to be this big. Put away. Okay, maybe it is supposed to be that big. I don't know, for some reason I don't remember fishing rods being this three times the size of Link. I don't know. Then again, my brain's losing it, so... With this, we are done inside the spring season. I'll be coming back for summer. Now that we have the sinking lure, we can actually fish, finish up the fishing pod side quest. Alright, head back in here. Alright, now that it's summertime, nice, hot, and steamy, just like uh, where I live in real life. We'll be coming on into this uh, place here. So there's two ways you can finish up the side quest. You can do it... Ugh. You can do it the legitimate way, and fish with the uh, frog lure there, which is reward for a roll goal, or with the sinking lure. Alright then. So, we will go it alone. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, if you were to go with the guide, you wouldn't be able to finish this up. If you were to get caught with the sinking lure, then yeah. So, be heading up over this way, and heading on back to this waterfall, waterfall pool with the lilies. Kind of reminiscent of Ocarina of Time. You know, canoeing is way better when you're not going down the rapids. Can you believe it? So anyways, the reason why we're coming back here is because there's lily pads here during the summertime. Here we go. So now that we're fishing, going over here to the lily pad section, bring it on to help, and we'll be changing lures. Now that we are all alone, we can bring on the sinking lure. Okay. This should be good. Okay. Lure it in. Alright, let it go down there. You just gotta let it sink, I think. This camera will be good. Okay, I see you, fishy. Where the heck are these fish? It's supposed to be back here in the lilies. Down here in the lilies, we let it sink. Your clue for fishing back here is the, uh, frogs. I am not seeing it. Oh, I see you. You're fishy. Darn it, that's not what I'm trying to catch. Oh well, bring it on in. Come on, you can do it. Alright, Halloween Bass. New record? Sure, I'll keep it. But that's not the trophy fish we're after. You might have already seen it back here, but there's a big old yellow fish back here. That only the li that only the Hylian Loaches like. There we go. Now that it's underground. Go ahead, fish it up. No, not the direction I wanted to go. Come on. Okay. Uh, I think that was a pike, not the loach. It'll be a hard fight, for sure. Get off the loot. The thing. Where's all the loaches at?
Okay, I am calling it quits. I have been at this for literally 25 minutes trying to get this fish not just to land to freaking bite because every time I try encountering it, it's uh, it just does not want to catch whatsoever. I've been trying this for so long, I'm getting frustrated beyond my mind. Then again, I get frustrated very easily, anyways, but it's not worth it. I guess I could congratulations, you caught all the big fish, you're such a good fisherman, blah blah blah, that's it. But, if the fish does not want to freaking bite, then it can go bite my my fat butt. Anyways. Eh, screw it. Um, you know what? I'll save the reek fish for last. There is another way you can get the Hylian Loach, which is the actual intended method for you to actually, uh, well, complete the decks. And that's going to be over here in Tactory Inco Graveyard once again, so I will see you all there. Uh Okay. Back here where we started the episode. If I can actually fish for once. And not be a complete blunder. And we can fish down here. And as you can see. There is another peculiar fish down there. So. Come on. Take the fish. I literally put on the lure for it. It's a freaking blue gill in it. Hi there green gill. I'll be sure to, uh, FLA you in every other manner. Okay, is this my freaking loach? Oh, piss off! I hate this game. I love it. It's totally wonderful. A worthwhile mini game to invest time in. Fine, a goddamn mother frickin' Lee! That's a highly loach. It's the fry of a legendary fish. Press down and check the, check the fish on the collection screen. Release this one with A and catch it when it's grown. Oh gosh, I hate that fish! Oh, it took way, way too long. Don't mind me, Rollis. I'm just teleporting behind you. No, pay no, pay no mind, okay? Oh my god, that took way too freaking long. Mind you, that's the first time I've ever caught that fish. Normally you, you catch yourself one in the, uh, um, in the fishing hole. However, though, that does not count towards your, uh, fishing journal. Only catching that one there does. It's a weird little quirk, but yeah. God, future me is going to hate trying to, uh, edit this episode because it's just going to be three quarters of it, uh, cut out. And now, for the final fish. So, right down there, we get ourselves a red little fish there. Alright, transform behind here. And, um, I guess I'll go ahead and bait this up, I guess. I don't know if that will uh, entice him or not. We'll see. I don't know. My brain is just so fried right now. Just trying to catch fish. There we go. Bring this up. And, huzzah! We caught ourselves a reek out! That's a reek fish. The sacred fish is only found near Zora's uh, village. It reeks. Alright then. So, it's now flopping on the ground. We can go ahead and sniff it up. Alright, forget the post scent and smell a new one? Yes, we will. We have learned the reek fish scent. And this is the last required one. It gives us a little scent of where to follow. So we can use that to trace ourselves up. I'm sorry, reek fish. Uh, you'll flop back in the water, right? There you go. Alright then. Um. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, I'll put spinner there. 
Eat bug, Link. I agree. Ugh. Okay, then. So, I'm going to head and warp out to uh, Warden Village real quick. Just so I can get myself a new fairy to replace and Gosh. I don't like fishing in this game. I mean, I do think it's one of the better fishing mini games in general. Then again, every every game must have a fishing game, it feels like. Okay. Come here, fairy. You're now expendable. Because Lord knows I am going to need it. Yeah, this next dungeon coming up is... It's out. Alright then, so coming back down here where we caught the reek fish, I just got myself a new fairy. We can go to the fish journal. And, it is all complete. So yeah, so, number caught, 10 fish, large is 13 inches, Orden catfish, from Orden like you, not so popular in the fishing hole. Anglers are really into this fish now, it's notorious for winning fans over with exposed eyes. Alright, catching an adult is ultra rare. I agree, it's ultra rare and really, uh, really annoying. So that there is everything for fishing. That's the end of the fishing journal. All the fish you can catch in the game. Is it worth it? No! You only need to catch two fish in the entire game. Well, t three in the original, two in HD. But, I am done with that crap. My brain is melted. My hard drive is about to murder me alive. You guys have been recording for over an hour trying to catch a bloody fish that makes no purpose. Then again, isn't that the joys of life? Anyways, this has been Orpheolus. Next time we'll begin Snow Peak now that we have a way forward thanks to the Reek Fish. I will see you all then.